Hey, how's everyone doing? Had a uh, subscriber of mine asked me to do a video on this uh, Packer that I got for the back of my uh, Cat 140. Flip the camera around, I'll show you what I got here. So it's pretty basic. It's just a, uh, this year they make walk and roll and like a handy hitch. And then uh, final pass compactor. This here is actually made by uh, Diamond. And uh, they're made uh, right in the town that I'm close to here in Sioux Falls. Uh, we got this on an auction sale. Uh, come from a highway department out in uh, West River, South Dakota. Uh, it's pretty much, there's pros and cons to this. It does a nice job. I really like it. It's better than nothing. Uh, you can see here, it's just got the uh, big shanks that go in the bottom of your ripper. So it just pins on there, and then you slide your uh, pins in. The uh, downside to this here is, is uh, unlike the walk and roll and the handy hitches, is this here is what you call a solid axle roller, and it does not oscillate. Uh, it doesn't have like a walking beam like the handy hitch and the walk and rolls have. Uh, the only downside to that is, is it doesn't quite uh, pack the crown as good as I'd like it to. Uh, I'll have really good compaction about halfway to the roller and then the last three wheels uh, will actually be up off the ground because of that 4% crown. Um, that's where I really like the uh, walk and roll and the handy hits where they have the independent walking beams. Um, this here, it's better than nothing, put it that way. So I'm very happy that I have it. Um, it's been a good packer for us. I think we'll probably keep it another year or so, but uh, once we update blades, we're probably talking about getting a uh, different compactor. Probably be a uh, walk and roll would be my guess. Just like that, because it's made in America, and uh, they have kind of the best... Uh, walking beam system that I've seen on the market that's what I would be going for if you ask me but uh, that's kind of the basic uh, little walk around on my uh, roller here if anybody's got any questions I'll do my best to answer them on this but uh, like I said uh, you can put down pressure on this it will Take and uh, pick up the uh, back end off the blade if you put enough pressure down on your ripper. Um, yeah. So it's uh, pretty good. Uh, you got to be kind of careful with it in the hills, obviously. You take too much weight off your tandems. Uh, it'll start kind of free floating on you, but uh, just kind of got to use your head. But uh, they do a really nice job rolling in your road, especially if you got good moisture. And from what I've found is even if it is kind of drier season, uh, being able to uh, give it that smooth textured finish on the road where they don't see all that loose gravel, it, it, they're more apt to drive the whole driving surface versus just pick two spots and, and stay in them, you know, like a cattle trail. So there's a lot of benefits to it. I mean, yeah, it's an investment, but... Uh, I think a new roller is probably 30 some thousand in that range right now. Uh, you don't buy a lot of gravel for 30,000 and being able to uh, compact it and uh, keep it in good shape makes a big difference. So with that, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And uh, if anybody's got any questions, put them down in the comments. We'll catch you on the next video.